feel like the gas that is coming out of that stadium tonight. Here we go. We're on to the light heavies now. And Patterson, he was going to come in on a flying carpet, but he no longer wants to do it, and he wanted to walk the stage. Okay then, just enter in the ring. We've got um, Private Patterson, 20 years old from Leeds. Current platoon, 2 platoon, Alma Company. Current Rose, rifleman within the uh, company. Previous civilian employment. He's a labourer. This lad should be a strong lad. Hobbies and interest, swimming, Thai boxing and running. Absolutely no boxing history previous. Well, Umbop. I hope this guy's better at boxing than he is swimming because I saw him in the 25 metre range with a set of armbands on. Okay, currently uh, entering the ring then is uh, Private. Deacon Burdis, 23 years old, hometown Conakee, current platoon, five platoon, Berber Company, current role as a rifleman, previous civilian employment, landscape gardener, as mentioned previously, hobbies and interests, boxing, off-road, quad bike racing, previous boxing experience, absolutely zero. This is him, this is Manny Patio. Manny Patio is going to put in a good show this evening. I don't know how I come up with them. Absolutely hilarious, Tom. See, we've got the uh, RSM who's gonna. Oh, we've got, we've got. Hey, we've actually got the winner of the last bout with us right now. What we'll do is we'll wait till the uh, the first interlude or the first round, and then we're going to give him an interview. We'll ask him how the fight's going, get a bit of feedback, etc. Sam Wilcox is going to referee this one. I think the referees tend to do it. The bounce out. in and out. Medical. So they'll do maybe two, Between, two or three fights. Now in the red corner each. and representing Helmand Company, Lance Corporal Moore. <laughs> and in the blue corner and representing Burma Company, Private Burdus. Some, there's been some good good punches thrown already, straight off the bat. Sorry, with the uh, commentating there, we had a little bit of a mess up, a uh, change to the programme this evening. It was uh, uh, Private Patterson is now not fighting. Apologies for that. And it's now, who? Oh, what's his name? Private Moore. Private? Yeah. Was it Lance Corporal? Yeah, Lance Corporal. Me sorry. and you haven't got a clue what's going on right now, have we? Don't matter. Moore. 
Listen, good lad. Good and fight. you also stated that it was we had a little bit of a mess up with the names pronunciation. I'm going to blame I can you. Assure you. You're the sound well, major. Hey, the millions of viewers that are tuned in in their underpants tonight. All 163 of you. <laughs> All the, yeah. Well, is what it is. Good right. Hey, I'll tell you. He's ducking and diving like a pikey, this kid. Boss, left. Oh, good right hand. Oh. It caught him. It glanced him. Like I say, he'll catch flu off that, off a draft of that one. Another another good left. They're good counter shots because he's scoring. He's scoring points with them. Well, that's what it's about at the end of the day, is getting them points racked up. Is it, or is it knocking them clean out? Well, that would be better for us. We'd have something to commentate <laughs> on. Well, it would uh, 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 well, be easy, would it? Last ten seconds of the round now. Both fighters, very good, good combination. He's going forward as well, very technically. There he is, there's a... I've got to up. admit, I don't know who's who right now, because the people that we've been given to commentate on... Don't worry about it, neither do I. Listen, we've got the last uh, successful contender, we've got Carl Finch. What about... So, you went into preliminaries, you were very quick off the mark, and, you, and I remember you made a comment to... Uh, one of the coaches that you didn't want to show in sparring what it is you actually had. So tell us a little bit about, talk us about the fight that you had tonight and the challenges that were up against you. I think tonight it was just, he's just got a harder punch. He nearly knocked me up, to be fair. He landed one of his big rides and nearly went down, but I managed to stay up and just, I knew I couldn't take him one on one in, in a brawl, so I just had to get the points, use my job, get the points. That's it. And you was very technical as well with it because we, we, we both noticed that. It was a big hit. I remember yeah. he, he did give you a good right hand, but we was looking and we thought, is he getting a little bit more technical? Did you get that from the coaches? Did you analyse your opponent this evening? Yeah, so or? I normally use first round to try and work out what I need to do. Yeah. I, yeah. Even though he left himself open quite a bit, I couldn't go in because as soon as he got me with the right, that's fucking, that's it. Well, it's the old saying, isn't it? <laughs> Left, right, good night. Yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, hi, Chris. Sorry, I saw, he saw him, he was down here on uh, Monday when I do my prelims. You know, not now, but he was on Monday. <laughs> they can hear you. <laughs> oh, Chris right, OK, so listen, Finchie, thank you ever so much. Cheers. Wish you the best of luck with your rest of your boxing career. Good win, good fight. So that was uh, Carl Finch there, he won the last bout. And back into this one, there's a little bit of blood there on Moore's face. Oh, he's got him with another belt at us again. No pun intended. So as the, uh, as the referee or the medical officer is attending to each boxer, the, the, the crowd have been briefed that they need to be absolutely uh, quiet in series and that.